Hello and welcome to the Imminent Tortoise Advent Cardinder. It is day two, oh that's four, day two of December 2022. And today we have a cornucopia of stuff. If you've seen yesterday's one, you'll know what's going on. If you haven't, I'm not going to explain. Let's get straight on to this. So, yesterday we had um, a mildly disappointing uh, turn out with uh, a very bent card, but that I'm sure is a one-off. Today, oh, today we have a pack. Right, so we're opening three packs today. Let me double check, yeah, that is good. So we'll put that in the back. What is it gonna be? It is, oh, Evolving Skies. That's kind of cool, actually. There's, there's a lot of potential to pull some cool stuff and these cards are straight. I do actually have, I did keep it from yesterday. Look at that, look at that singular card. Well, whatever, let's crack into Evolving Skies. I've still got my uh, sleeves to the side as well in case we do pull something cool. Now, there's obviously the secret rare Umbreon that everyone is hyped for in this set. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot to pull in Evolving Skies. I managed to pull, I think I've got a secret rare, no, is it? I think it's just a full art Flareon, I think. I'm going to guess electricity. No, and um, electricity, electric, you know what I mean. Right, let's go through this then. We've got a ribbon badge, a Zwilus. Hang on, I'm just going to put these at the bottom there. Very nice. Hey, we've got Zinnia's Resolve. Very cool. Hey, Pumpkaboo. Carvana. We've got a Gossifleur. No, oh, a Fletchling. A Scraggy. So we can't get anything in the reverse slot. Unfortunately, there's no trainer galleries. We do have rubber gloves. Right, can we pull something hype? Let's go. Oh, actually, no, you know what? Galarian Moltres, I don't have. Um, I really like the Galarian legendary birds, actually. That is pretty cool. You know what? I'll take a hollow. A hollow is absolutely, especially for like day two. You know, it's nothing crazy, but it is pretty cool. Right, I'm going to move this to the side and we'll get into the box. All right, we're back to the box again. So, um, yesterday I added it at the bottom of the uh, video, but Robot Carnival, which is one of these packs here, I'd mentioned Robot Carnival, Master of Japanese Animation. Robot Carnival is an OVA um, that features, it's basically like an anthology OVA where there's like nine mini episodes in them and they're all directed by different anime directors and stuff. So I did put it at the bottom of the video yesterday as well, but I thought I'd explain it better. So we've got a Topps X-Files pack. Now, I bought these uh, on, well, online from a charity. I got nine packs. I don't think there's nine in here because I went slightly over the 50 card count, so I've taken like a few out. But I got nine packs for, I think it's like four pounds or something, so I was like, wow, the these look kind of fun. Okay, Ooh, oh god, it's got the, uh, it's got the robot carnival thing going on. These are all stuck together. So we've got some aliens in jars. Um, okay, we don't have, do we have a number? 63. There we are. We've got Alien Jaws. Very nice. Ooh. This is just like the first card, I'm presuming. Uh, what? 64. No, what? Okay, maybe that's like a cover for something. I'm not going to spend time reading these because that's just going to be boring. That's kind of cool. I like that. So uh, I don't know if you, any of you watching has ever watched The X-Files. It is a very good 60... Wait a second. Are these sequential? Uh, let's see. That's 63. This is 64. Oh, wow. We've got sequential packs. Is that how they're doing it then? So, ooh. That's a nice shot. That's definitely a shot from an episode. And that's 66, right? Hang on. Uh, 49. No, it's not. Okay. Well, I was wrong then. Um, hang on. This was stuck. There is a card behind it. Uh, let's see. 
That's 48. Oh, so there's like, they are sequential, but in, I'm guessing that's going to be 50. Um, that is going to be 49, right? That's, I think that's how it is. That's kind of cool. Ooh, that's very nice. I do like me some aliens. Aliens are my favourite. And then 50. There you go. Cool. So, we've got some X-Files cards. Um, what all the kids are clamouring for, I imagine. I, I bet X-Files is huge with the Zoomers. Uh, just check, uh, check out TikTok. I bet it is full of hashtag uh, X-Files. Let me put that there as well. What's going to be our final thing? I do need to mix these up a bit. Oh, it's another uh, X-Files. Got X-Files on the brain, sorry guys. Uh, we've got another Yu-Gi-Oh pack. Yesterday's one was pretty cool though. We did get like a, a hollow. So flip that to the side. Did I do that the wrong way? Is that... Ah. That should go there. There was a hollow. I just saw the hollow. I didn't see what it was though. <laughs> Deskbot Jet. Ah! Um... I think desktop deskbot might be the like archetype, but there is there are very cool like desk based mechs. We've got Fright Fur Fusion. Fright Fur is another uh, type of card. We've got Edge Imp Soul. Those are just three words. Those are those are just three separate words you've put on a card. We've got Magician's Rod. <laughs> There's Dark Magician. Um, we have a uh, Stygian security, very nice. Uh, well, I like the word Stygian. Um, I mean, that's not necessarily very dark or brooding, but you know. Yo, we've got Reed Raptor, Fuzzy Lanius. Okay, I mean, he looks more. He, he doesn't quite look like a fuzzy guy, but okay, whatever. We've got Mist, Mist Archfiend, very nice. I like that art. We've got Evolution Burst, uh, no doubt helping with some evolution. Twilight Twin Dragons, very cool. There's the one thing about spells, like the art's really cool, but they, they are one of those things like, oh, this is probably, you know, appropriate for like five types of cards and that's it. And we've got King of the Swamp um, in this kind of rainbow effect thing. I don't know what type of rare this is, but that is nice. Uh, yet again, as I said yesterday, this isn't, I don't think this is a valuable card. This came from a charity pack from my local card shop. You know, they're, they're not going to put in some like valuable stuff, but I always like pulling a hollow. Uh, and that's cool. I really like that art actually. It's a little bit Magic the Gathering almost. Like I could see that on an MTG card. Um, but yeah, well, those were some cool pulls. We got two hollows, technically, uh, along with, where is he? The Galarian bird, and it isn't bent, which is quite nice as well. So uh, that is cool, and that about wraps everything up for today. That concludes day two of December. Uh, I hope everyone has been getting in the festive mood. If not, stay tuned, because tomorrow, I'll just be I'll do I'll be doing the same thing again. I'm not going to be that festive, but you know, it should be nice. Anyway, uh see you then.